concept of uh, blood pressure itself is uh, recording of blood pressure is changing. Patient comes to uh, cardiologist or physician and uh, then there is something called as white coat hypertension where the blood pressure recorded is high due to stress which the patient feels or when he comes to see a doctor he feels a different kind of a uh, high blood pressure due to various questions in his mind and this uh, anxiety which he feels so many times it is seen that the blood pressure which is recorded in clinic is high compared to what the normal blood pressure patient has at home or at his workplace to counter this there is a new concept now called as home blood pressure monitoring where uh, patients uh, can have a blood pressure monitor which is calibrated and uh, he can uh, take readings of his blood pressure and maintain them over a period of time in a, uh, in a different time period so that it gives actual uh, uh, total data about uh, how his blood pressure stays sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon or evenings at his workplace when he's relaxed or when he's working that time also. So this way we can take an average out and uh, we can uh, treat the blood pressure more effectively. So that is a use of, uh, that is a advantage of home blood pressure monitoring. Once uh, we exhaust the option of lifestyle modification and when we start drug treatment for hypertension, then we insist at the uh, uh, first instance only that these medications are lifelong. They have to come regularly for follow up where we may change the medication, but uh, uh, medication remains for lifelong and this is what we insist. Uh, in the first place on them. We tell them not to listen to many advices uh, which relatives and friends give regarding uh, stopping of blood pressure medications and the kidney damage which it carries. So we tell them that if we stop rather then they can have kidney damage rather than continuing it. So we insist on them all the time to continue it lifelong and with regular follow ups. Actually, it goes uh, without saying that uh, exercise is a primary thing. 60% of uh, prevention is exercise, 20% is uh, food habits, changing the food habits and 20% is regularly taking the medication. So exercise is most important, 45 minutes minimum every day of uh, walking, jogging, swimming, dancing or playing, whichever uh, sport uh, a person has to carry that uh, he has to continue it for 45 minutes uh, every day and uh, that is aerobic where the heart rate increases. Then avoiding or excessive salt, regular salt is okay but avoiding excessive salt and taking medications regularly, they should be followed. Thank you. So much. Thank you.